Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Yeah. How do you feel today? Uh -huh. How do you feel today? I am tired. You're tired? Okay. All right. What about the other ones? So let me see. Um, I can see that we have Pablo. We also have Emerson. We have Maurice. Right. So Mauricio, how are you? Are you better today? Uh, more red, more red. Okay. I am capacity. Oh, you have medical leave. Yeah. yeah. Incapacidad, medical okay. leave. Okay. Medical leave. Yeah, medical leave. Okay. All right. Medical. For how many days? Two days, one day? One day. One day. All right. Well, we hope you get better, Maurice. Okay. You should take some okay. pill right, and rest as well. Yes. Okay. So let's see. What about your day, Emerson? How was it? My day was uh, very cool. Okay, it was good. Perfect. Yes. All right. Uh, good evening, Carla Sofia. Good evening, um, Carlos Vladimir. Let me see. Well, Tatiana is there. Yeah. And Pablo. Okay, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. And first of all, today's agenda. Uh, we have uh, grammar. And today what we are going to do is that we are going to make a review. Okay. So today we are going to make a review about the first unit. Yeah. Unit one. So we also have a speaking time. We have grammar quiz and we have a listening quiz. Okay. And we also have uh, something different, but I will let you know later on, okay? So um, we are going to start with a speaking. So let me ask you, okay? We are going to describe the picture, yeah? So what can you tell me about this picture? What can you tell me? I want you to describe it. What do you see in the picture? What are they doing? How do they feel? Uh -huh. There are disappointment. They, okay. Uh -huh. She watched the TV soccer. The soccer match. Okay. And what happened? Uh -huh. Your team is losing. Okay. Their team is losing. Okay, could be excellent. So we can see uh, their faces, right? They are disappointed, as you said before. Very good, Emerson. What about this one, guys? What do you think about this picture? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Huh? Tatiana? The, yeah. the food is horrible. Okay, so the food is horrible. Could be, right? Okay, or the food was horrible. Okay, what else can you tell me about this picture? Mm -hmm. mm. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening yeah. Daisy. Yeah. Friend is bad. In, in cook in cook yes okay so ah. her friend is bad at cooking ah it's bad cooking Back cooking. all right perfect so probably uh she wants her to uh do the dishes because i can see that those are dirty dishes right mm -hmm. yes all right very good what about this one what can you tell me about this picture? What are they doing? Which event did they have or are they having? It's a picture uh, the wedding. 
it's a wedding. Okay. A wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could be. They are really happy. They are happy. Mm -hmm. They are happy. They are, um, I would say that they are enjoying the party probably, right? Because you see their faces, they are so happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about the one that is in the middle? What can you tell me about this picture? Uh -huh. I think that this one is going to be probably a festival, right? Mm -hmm. As you can see, it is really crowded. There are many people. Yeah, many people. Mm -hmm. It could be a concert as well, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe manifestation. Could be as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what about number three? What can you tell me about this picture? Number three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Picture number three, this one. Mm -hmm. They are staff of the company? Yes, they are staff, okay, in the company, right? Um, very good, yes. Probably they are having some interviews, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're having a meeting, right? Yes. Maybe they are having a business lunch, right? Because they are really formal, right? Adversity posing. Could be. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, so let's move and let's continue, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to ask you just to see if you remember about the things that we have over. What have we studied this week? Can you please mention some things that we have covered? Okay, Jose. All right, perfect. So what have we studied this week? Can you please mention the topics that we have covered? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We no superlatives, we cover just comparatives. Mm -hmm. Comparative adjectives, yes. What else? Mm -hmm. What else did we cover? What else did we study this week? Comparatives, yes, that was the first topic that we covered. What about on Tuesday? Mm -hmm. yeah. On Wednesday? Study uh -huh. fanboy. Fanboys, perfect. Uh -huh. We covered fanboys. Very good. What else? And yesterday? Good might. Very good. Okay. So those are some of the topics that we covered during this week. All right. So today we are going to make a review on those. Okay. Just for you to clarify any doubt that you may have. And we are going to start with comparative adjectives. Yeah. Can you please tell me which is the comparative form of the adjective good. What is the comparative of good? What better. is it? Yeah. Better. Okay, it is going to be better. What about for a bad? Mm 
-hmm. Words. Words. Perfect. All right. What about for big? Bigger. Okay. We have bigger like this. No. Double G. Double G. Okay. Perfect. What about for expensive? More expensive. More expensive. Very good. And what about yeah. elegant? What is the comparative? More elegant? More elegant. More elegant. More elegant. Excellent. And what about for bright? What is the comparative? Lighter. It is brighter. Yes. And what is the mean of bright? Mm -hmm. It's like to be brilliant. I don't know. Um, um, I get the idea, and yes, that is the idea, right? Is um brillar, right? Yeah. Yes. What about the comparative for healthy? Healthier. Okay, we have healthier. Okay, very good. And then for happy? Happier. Then. Happier, right? Happy. Yeah, yes. Happier, very good. What about for generous? More generous. Perfect. We have more generous. Mm. Yeah. What about funny? Funnier. 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 Okay. Very good. And exciting? More exciting. More exciting. Yes. More exciting. Okay. Perfect. And the last one. Boring. More boring. More Boring. Okay, so let's see. Give me one example using elegant in the comparative form. Elegant in the comparative. Give me one idea, one example. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, elegant. Uh, mm, my father is more elegant than my uncle. Perfect. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes. Very good. All right. So then let's move to number one. Here it says, let's choose the correct one. Okay. Number one. My brother is... Taller. 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 Very good. Than me. Number two. This way is shoulder than the other. Excellent. This way is shorter than the others. Number three. This book is more expensive than the others. This book is more expensive. Okay, perfect. That is number four. What about number three? Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. My grandfather is older than everyone in our family. In our family. Perfect. Number five. I think it's bigger than our other day. Yes, double G, right? Excellent. What about number six? Susie. Susie is the is the more hungry. Okay. Me. Susie is the more hardworking than me. No. <laughs> okay. Susie is more 
hard worry that mean okay repeat after me tatiana hard working hard working perfect okay what about number seven this car This car is cheaper car than all is... the gallery. Yes, this car is cheaper yeah. than all the cars in the gallery. Perfect. Number eight. Reading, reading book, book is, is better, better than watching TV. Perfect. Okay, reading book is better than watching TV. And number nine. Summer are hotter. Than Summer is okay. Spring. Are hotter than hotter. The spring. spring. Yeah. And the last one, number ten. Women more fragile than men. Yes, women are more fragile than men. Perfect. Okay. So. Comparative adjectives, very good. Do you have any uh, any doubt? Any question? No? No. Perfect. Okay, let's move then. Now let's move to vocabulary, okay? So we are going to use this vocabulary uh, in the next activity. So let's um, try to pay attention. So it says, match the adjectives to the definition. First of all, we are going to talk about pronunciation and the definition, the meaning, okay? So number one, reliable. Number two, helpful. Number three, affordable. Number four, practical. Number five, pricey. Number six, Functional. Number seven, stylish. And number eight, elegant. Yeah. So now let's talk about the definition, the meaning, okay? Well, first of all, let's talk about what is reliable. Reliable, any, um, any idea about reliable? Mm -hmm. Well, reliable, guys, in Spanish means fiable. Fiable. Yeah? Fiable. So we have the definition. And what do you think the definition is? We have from A to H. Uh -huh. Cuando a, okay, very good. So it is going to be letter G, okay, and what is letter G? It says, knowing that the person or object will do what you expect them or it to do. Something fiable, yeah? Number two, helpful. What is the meaning of helpful? Helpful means útil. Sure. So, um, something útil. If you don't know right now, let's continue with number three, okay? So we're going to uh, find a solution for number two later on. Number three, <laughs> what is the meaning of affordable? So affordable means um, something that is um, accessible. A, B, C, D. Affordable. Algo que es accesible or accessible for you. For example, um, when it comes to probably technological gadgets, like for example, cell phones, sometimes we can buy 
let's say G. Samsung C. Uh -huh. Little C. Uh, affordable, not being too expensive. Perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. What about number four? Practical. That is uh, practical, right? Practical. Uh -huh. Letter B. Okay, very good. Letter B, right? And letter B, uh, George, can you please read letter B? Yeah. Um, for example, is um, when when a person make um, only your work, nothing more. Only when I near a person is make um. A situation for me only that uh, make this this thing or only one activity no more than this perfect that is correct okay so it means having the basic things needed to work but not anything more as you mentioned george yes what about number five number five is pricey so if affordable is uh, something that is not too expensive, what do you think pricey is? E. Letter E. Letter e. Correct. Letter E, all right? E. Yes. So it is costing a lot of money. Pricey. Mm -hmm. So pricey is a synonym uh, of expensive. Yeah. What about functional? Letter D. Letter D, being able to make a situation better. Okay. Let's put it. Uh -huh. And what about a, a stylish? Letter F. F. Letter F, F. right? Yes. So a stylish is a la moda. <coughs> yeah. Something that is a la moda, but at the same time, elegant. Pero al mismo tiempo, elegante, okay? So, stylish. Hola. Hello, Wendy. Uh -huh. well, I think that she is probably talking to somebody else. All right. Number eight, elegant. Letter H. Letter H, right? So letter H is being attractive with a beautiful design, okay? Could be, right? So a stylish and elegant, both are synonyms, okay? Both are synonyms. And then helpful. Mm. Yes, I would say Okay, I would say that in this case, um, functional. Yes, I would say that functional is going to be, let me go ahead and just remove, is letter A, and helpful is going to be letter D. Remember that helpful means util, something that is util, so that it is able to make a situation better. Yeah. <laughs> So once again, guys, reliable means fiable, something que es confiable, fiable, helpful, útil, affordable, asequible, que uh, lo podemos comprar, practical, práctico, pricey, costoso, caro, functional, funcional, a stylish, a la moda, or elegant. Son sinónimos. And elegant, elegante. Yeah? Okay. Well, let's move. Now, when we want to um, actually create comparative adjectives with those, with those, we can add more. More reliable, more helpful, more affordable, more practical. Uh, it could, this one, it could be 
uh, more pricey or sometimes pricier. Both are correct, okay? Then more functional, more stylish, and more elegant. Yeah? We can add more to make the comparative. So now what we are going to do with those adjectives, okay? And of course, with the ones that you already know, yeah, what we are going to do is the following. We have an activity, yeah? So we are going to have five teams. Each team is going to have one topic. In this case, you need to compare. You need to create at least five sentences letting us know, right, why you think one item is better than the other one, yeah? Using this uh, vocabulary or the one that you know. But what you need to do is that you need to create five sentences to let us know why you think uh, one item is better than the other one. If you prefer Apple, why do you think Apple is better than Android, okay? and so on. You see, we have different um, teams. So we have five teams, yeah? So please open the class so you can have this material and you can work on this, right? Just let me give you the access to share the screen. Okay. Um, Let me see. Kenya, I think that well, I'm going to move. George. Well, I think that some of you cannot participate in the activity, okay? Um, so please stay here in the main room. Uh, Wendy, you cannot go to the to the room, right? Creo que no se no puede irse a la. No, a la... no, no, no pude ingresar, teacher. Ok, déjeme ver. Sí, o sea, sí, sí apliqué, o sea, sí le clic, pero no pude entrar. Ok. Uh -huh. Let me see. Deme un segundo. Wendy, ok. Where is Wendy? Ok, let me see. Ok, try. Uh -huh. Ok. Somebody else that was having issues? Um, well, I think that the other ones, maybe no, right? You cannot participate, but okay. Let me see. Okay, so in this okay. case, you can choose whatever, um, whatever item that you want, okay? You can choose team one, team two, okay, et cetera. Is your decision. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Hello. I we have a question. Yes. All right. We have only one soldier? Yes. In this case, you need to choose whatever you want. You can choose team one, team two, team three, four, or five is your decision. Okay. Yes. Hello, guys. Um, I think that you have the same question. So in this case, you can choose one team 
is your decision and you are going to choose just one team and for that um for those items you are going to create five sentences pero okay. solo uno okay no de todos okay okay yeah. okay Thank you. all right let's see okay. Eh. Elegant. Eh, the dress is more elegant than skirt. Skirt. What do you say? Falda teacher in English. A skirt. A skirt. A skirt. Yes. Remember that you are going to choose one team and then you are going to present it uh, to the class okay just for you to write down your oh. sentences yeah uh -huh. only team one okay very good okay just create five sentences let yes. it know now why you prefer android or, or apple right okay okay teacher we we choice uh, what team uh about this for yes. example Ah, okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Choice team one. Okay. For, exa for example. For that. More affordable. Than mm -hmm. Apple. Mm -hmm. Eh, vamos dos. Cinco dijo. Sí. Siempre de Android y, y, y iPod. More functional. Android. Uh -huh. Apple is more is functional than Apple. Rice. Podemos decir también Apple is a price than Android. Pricey. Yes, sir. It's more pricey than Android. Okay. More pricey. Like más caro. Okay. Cuatro. Apple is more stylish than Apple. No, Apple is yeah. more stylish than Android. Yeah. Stylish. Uh -huh. Stylish. Stylish. Yeah, stylish. Uh -huh. Android. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Uh, more. For the. It's affordable. It's for the. <laughs> 
que era igual. Que es asequible. Creo que en este caso no tendría que llevar el had. No. no. Always have, they have, always have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Casio is more functional than Rolex because oh, sí. it has more functions. Because That it has. Is. Es cierto. Ah, me falta el it. Mm -hmm. It has. It has. Okay, are you done? Yeah, we good. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Give me one minute because the other teams are still working, okay? Give me one minute. Okay. okay. Yes. More helpful than Rolex because it is has joy. Uh -huh. And Yeah. Android is more helpful than Apple. We okay. have six, six and ten. Okay. Okay. So um, we have from room one, Eduardo, Emerson, Karen, Carla, Sofia, and Nelly. Which uh, item did you choose? And can you please let us know your sentences? Hi. Yes. Um, I sh we choose Casio versus Rolex. Perfect. And I little number one, Casio is more reliable than Rolex. Reliable? Re oh. Reliable. Reliable. Yes. And number two, Casio had more helpful than Rolex because has more functions. Okay, is, is, is. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Casio is more affordable than Rolex. Affordable, okay. Casio is more function than Oh, no, se re... Se re... Mm -hmm. And Rolex is more elegant than Casio. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Number two, room two. 
Carlos Vladimir, Daisy Elizabeth, Jonathan Roberto, Jorge Antonio, y José Bernardo. Well, shall we choose the team one, Android versus Apple? Okay. The first sentence is Android is more affordable than Apple. Number two, Apple is more reliable than Android. Perfect. Number three, Android is more practical than Apple. Perfect. Number four, Apple is price price. Price, price, Pricey? yeah, yes. Pricey, Sorry. okay. Pricey than Android. Mm -hmm. And finally, Apple is more elegant than Android. Very good, yes, perfect. Okay, room three, Carlos Alberto, Juan Jose, and Wendy Maricela. Okay, we choose the team two. Okay. The laptop is more reliable than tablets. Okay. The laptop is more helpful than tablet. Yes. The tablet is more affordable than laptop. Yes. The table is more practical than laptop. Okay. The laptop is more pricey than tablet. The laptop is more functional than tablet. Okay. The tablet is more stylish than laptop. Perfect. Uh, the laptop is more elegant than tablet. Very good, Juan Jose. Well done. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, okay, from room five, Claudia Maria, Kenya, Mauricio, and Pablo. Well, Imini, we shoot the team one, Andrew versus Apple. Okay. The first is Android is more practical than Apple. Mm -hmm. The second, Android is more affordable than Apple. Third, Android is more functional than Apple. Fourth, mm -hmm. uh, Apple is more pricey than Android. Yes. Apple is more stylish than Android and Android is more helpful than Apple. That's very all. good. Perfect. Okay. Well done, guys. Okay. I can see that you all used all of them. Okay. Most of those adjectives. Perfect. All right. Do you have any doubt about this? If not, let's continue, guys. And we are going to move to make a review on fanboys. Yeah. Let's make a review on fanboys. And we have coordinating conjunctions. That is the name of fanboys. Okay. That is the name. So let's see. Um, Juan Jose, can you please help us reading the definition for a conjunction? Yeah, and then continue with the examples for N. Okay. A conjunction is a word or phrase that join two parts of a sentence. Coordinating conjunction are used join two parts of a sentence that may be single words or clauses. Study the table below, conjunction N, to add or connect two things together, Bo and Jill live on the same street, to suggest that one idea ha happens after another idea. I called his name and he came. Mm -hmm. That suggests that one idea is the result of another. I heard the weather force call, force cast, okay. and this decide not to go out. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now repeat after me, Juan Jose, and say conjunction. Conjunction. Perfect. Okay, so guys, we have N, yeah? That is the first um, coordinating conjunction, N. And you know that this one is to add or connect two things together. Let me, uh, well, George, help us reading but. But. 
to suggest a contrast that is unexpected. He has no money, but he is happy. Very good, right? A contrast, yeah? Kenya, can you please read or? To suggest alternatives. We can start the lesson at 3 p.m. or we can begin at 4 p.m. Very good, thank you. Okay, so we have or to suggest alternatives, right? Uh, Nelly, can you please read Jet? Yet to make a contrast, uh, Joseph plays would be well, yet his favorite sport is soccer. Perfect, okay, so Jet to make a contrast, yeah? Then we have so. Um, Emerson, can you please help us reading so? So, so they suggest a result. Yeah. It was rain, raining, so we decided to stay in to Maine as well. Or in addition, Joy is hungry, and so I am. Perfect. Okay. So, so basically means to suggest a result, right? It was raining, so we decided to stay in. A stay in is to stay at home. Yeah, a stay in. And Tatiana, help us reading four. Four to main because in very formal or library context, I don't know what the what he looks like for I have never met him. Okay, uh, Tatiana, repeat after me and say met. Met. And say literary. Literary. Yeah, literary, perfect, okay, thank you. So now guys, let's complete the sentences with fun boys, yeah? So let's see, it says more than one answer may be possible. Okay, so let's see. Number one, the dog hasn't eaten all day. So she must be very hungry. Number two, we can go out for a pizza. Or, or we can eat in it's up to you yeah number three george is coming to town but but, but i don't but. know if he will visit us but. right but i don't know if he'll visit us very good number four it's not very polite to eat Two. Okay. And, and. and okay, it's not very polite to eat and talk at the same time. Yeah. Very good. And number five, it's cold outside. Yet. So so, very so, good. Yes. So, I suggest you put on your coat. Number six, I, I got go. I got out of bed. And, and had a shower. And had a shower. Number seven, it was raining outside. So, so uh, it was mm -hmm. also okay. This was also warm. Warm. Mm. Four. Four. Mm. Four. No. Or. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm. With war, 
Okay, so it was mm. raining outside. Contrast. Yeah. To or. make contrast. Those okay. are two choices. No, we need to. Uh, uh -huh. So raining on side. Contrast. But. But it was also quite warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so we decided to take the dog for a walk. Very good. So, so I turn it on the auto. Yeah. In number eight, I turned on the television. What? But there was nothing interesting to watch. And number nine, we decided to go home. Mm -hmm. For, for well, it was getting late. Okay. Because it means because, right? Well, because it was getting late. Very good. Okay. Fanboys. Yeah. Fanboys are coordinating conjunctions. That is the name. Coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Pronunciation. Conjunctions. conjunctions. Okay. Conjunctions. Conjunction. Yeah. Okay, guys. So now we are going to have a grammar challenge. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send a link. You know, I, I cannot share it right here uh, on the meeting because I don't know if if it is going to actually if we are going to have some issues because of the copyrights. Okay. But the link que le voy a mandar es para un uh, juego. Okay. Este juego. Se lo voy a mandar en este momento. Aquí en el chat de Zoom. No lo comparto en la pantalla porque eh, por los derechos de autor, que si no, el video no lo vamos a poder subir. Entonces, usted lo va a ver en su pantalla, ¿ok? Eh, déjeme, se lo comparto. Bye. Mire si le abre el link y me lo hace saber. Dele clic a ese link. Que le mandé aquí y me dice si se lo abre. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes. ok, ¿les pide código o no les pide el código? No. Vaya, no. entonces solo ponga su nombre. Ya apareció. <risas> sí, ya veo a Vladimir, veo a Kenia, veo a Carla. Ok, veo a Emerson, George, Eduardo. Ok. Le doy a empezar, Ticha. Eh, creo que si le da a iniciar no lo, no le va, de, no lo va a dejar, eh, porque creo que yo uh -huh. le tengo que dar aquí a iniciar. Bernardo, Juan José. Ok. Ok. I don't know if the other ones are going to play, the ones that are as oyentes. Okay. I me me. Pablo, sure? let me see Ma Maurice, Mauricio. Let me yeah. see Mauricio. Yeah. No, Mauricio. No me ve. No. Quiero ver. Aparezco con, aparezco con el nombre. No, Mauricio, pero no lo veo. Pues sí. Tu nombre es Quiz, dice Mauricio. ¿Qué y tengo que hacer para que me vea? Si le da a empezar, dele a empezar. Ok, quiero ver si. ¿Ya okay. Sí, vaya, hoy sí, hoy sí. Okay. Bye. ¿Listos? Um, yes. Ok, this quiz is about the things that we have studied and also about um, vocabulary, ok? okay. So, aquí. El que va a ganar es el que um, sea más rápido y conteste eh, todas correctas, ¿ok? Ok. Vaya. Empezamos. Yes. Suerte.
There is missing one, creo que falta. Uno falta, dice. Me he dejado esperando a que lo demás responda. Yes. Okay, next. Teacher. Yes. No me dio chance. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing three. Tres falta. Uno falta. Okay. Okay, next. Tatiana va en primer lugar. Vladimir en segundo. Kenia en tercero. We're missing two people, two students. Okay. Hurry up. Faltan dos. Primero, Tatiana en segundo, Kenny en tercero, Bernardo Ford, Jonathan Pitt. Maria, faltan dos. First place, George, second place, Bernardo, third place. No, it's it's done actually. Okay, all right, guys. So the first place, uh, George. Okay, let me share. I I think that I'm going to share the screen. Okay, let me see. If, yeah, I think that this is not. Okay, so first place, George. Second place, Bernardo. In third place, Jonathan. Okay, all right, guys. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult? Maybe a little bit, right? But not that much, I think. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, give me one second.
Uh, where is it? Here. Okay. So here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Carlos Vladimir. Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria. Daisy Elizabeth. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Karen. Okay. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Marian. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Marina. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Eh, Norma Patricia. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy. And present teacher, present. Thank you. And Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Present. Thank you. Ok. Right. Teacher, when, cuando me mencionó, creo que se me frisó el internet. El internet. All right. Vladimir. Vladimir. Ok. Let me see. Mm, all right. Thank you. Um, all right, guys. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue with today's class. Um, all right. So now let's move and let's talk about the restaurant industry. Okay. So let me ask you, how often do you visit restaurants? How often do you visit restaurants, guys? Usually never, sometimes, from time to time, occasionally. Uh -huh. And who do you go with? Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. The restaurant in the industry. Yes, but Wendy, how often do you visit restaurants, Wendy? Uh -huh. I don't know. How Never. Never. Never? No. Okay. No. All right. Okay. So what about you, uh, Jonathan? How often do you visit restaurants? Usually I go to I go out to to eat maybe two or three times uh, a month. Okay. Regularly the weekend. Okay, perfect. And who do you go with? Uh, frequently with my family. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, George, when did you last go to a restaurant? Mm. Today at 6 p.m. Oh, really? And how was your experience? Yes, no, it's, uh, um, I went to my family, my wife and my sons. Okay. And yeah, it's um, a little time, but, but um, nice. Okay, it was nice. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Then, Wendy, what is your favorite food? Is Wendy there? No, Wendy's not there. Okay, so what about you, Carla? What is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is sushi. Sushi, 
Okay. And Carla, when did you last go to a restaurant? Mm, I went to a restaurant yesterday. Perfect. And how was your experience? It was good because the food uh, was delicious. Okay. All right. Perfect. Tatiana, how often do you visit restaurants? I usually, I usually visit a restaurant. Okay. And what is your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, Italian food. Italian food? Okay. Yes. It is delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let's move, guys. Okay. So now we are going to um, learn, okay, guys, the difference between the following words. Do you know, guys, the difference between a bill and a check? Or do you know the difference between a cook and a chef? Or a service charge and a tip? A starter and an appetizer? A main course and a side dish? Eat in and eat out. Do you know the meaning? Any idea? No. Okay. The first so now, means uh, yes. bill is an uh, invoice. Okay. And check is uh, only a ticket. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? No idea? Okay. So now, um, Carla, number one, help me reading number one. Number two, eh, Mauricio. Number three, Vladimir. Number four, Eduardo. Number five, eh, Wendy. And number six, please, Carlos Alberto. Number one, Will is British English. Check is American English. Okay. A cook is someone who prepare and cooks food. A chef is entirely and trying and usually the most important cook in a hotel or restaurant. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. Mm, yes. Three, a service charge is a obligatory price mm -hmm. payment added mm -hmm. to the price of the meal to pay for the cost of serving the customer. Okay. A deep small extra amount of money which a customer leaves for the waiter or the waiters after paying for the mail. Okay, thank you. Number four. Four, a starter is written in English, but the starter is an appetizer or American English. Thank you. Five. I think that one was Wendy. Sister, boy, sister. <laughs> yes. Uh, a main course in the largest or most important parts of meal, I say this is a small extra order of food as served or a separate a plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, six. It in means to have a milk at house rather than in a restaurant, it ought meant to have a meat. Okay, so guys, number one, all right? So number one, bill is British English and check is American English. But the most common way to ask for the, uh, por la cuenta, 
right? When we go to a restaurant, um, do you know how to ask for the, for, para la cuenta? ¿Cómo hacemos la pregunta en inglés? ¿Me puede traer la cuenta? ¿En un restaurante? Would you give me a bill? Okay. Can I have the bill, please? Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Can I have the, the bill, please? Okay. Even though it is British English, but that is the, the common way for us to ask for the bill, right? But you can also uh, uh, hear sometimes, but that is not common, okay, to listen to people saying, can I have the check? It's not common, all right? Most of the time is, can I have the bill, please? So then we also have number two. It says that a cook is someone who prepares and cooks food, yeah? And a chef is a skilled and trained and usually the most important cook in a hotel or restaurant. Yeah. Then we also have number three. It says that a service charge is an obligatory fixed payment added to the price of the meal to pay for the cost of serving the customer. A service charge. This one is obligatory. And a tip is a small extra amount of money which a customer leaves for the waiter or waitress after paying for the meal. La propina. And then we have a stutter is British English. And both a stutter and appetizer are American English. But at the end, they are the same. Okay. Number five, a main course is the largest or most important part of a meal, right? El plato fuerte. A side dish is a small extra order of food served on a separate plate. That means una porción. A side dish is como decir una porción. And number six, Eating means to have a meal at home rather than in a restaurant. So eating means comer en casa. Eat out means to have a meal in a restaurant. Eat out means ir a un restaurante a comer. Okay, those are phrasal verbs, verbos frasales. Okay. All right, so let's move. Now, let's take a look at vocabulary, the restaurant industry, okay? So as you can see, we have six uh, pictures, all right? So let's see, number one, from those pink words that we have right here, which is number one? How do you say cubiertos in English? Silver, silver well, well. Very good. So we say silverware. Cubiertos se dicen silverware. How do you say tenedor? Fork. Fork. And how do you say cuchara? Spoon. 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 And how do you say cuchillo? Knife. Nine, yes. Uh -huh. So, y la palabra cubiertos, silverware. Silverware. Uh -huh. Now, number two. Yeah, number two. How do you say eh, servilleta? In English. Make. Napkin. Napkin. Okay. Napkin, huh? napkin or serviette. Uh, this comes from French, right? So napkin. Number three. What is this? Soft drink. It's a soft beverage. drink, right? Or it's a beverage. Very good. What about number four? 
desserts. Okay, okay, desserts. All right, and from those words that we Are have there... here. Local especially. Local espe speciality, yes. Local speciality. Okay, this one. Or desserts, right? Those are synonyms, yeah? Number five. Vegans. Of Vegans, yes, correct. Salad. This is a, yeah, salad, right? Mm -hmm. And what about number six? With free. Yes, with free. And what is the meaning of that? What is this word? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of wheat? Okay. You read um, trigo. Trigo. Wheat is trigo. Okay. So wheat free. This one is allergy information. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to play a listening and try to get this information. Okay, it says that we are going to listen for details. Yeah, listen to the dialogue for the first time and write down what Simon orders for lunch. So on this listening, you are going to hear the stutter, the main course, the drink, and the dessert. Yeah, so take notes. Um, here we go. Are you ready to order? Yes, but I'd just like to check something. I have a nut allergy. The tomato soup doesn't contain nuts, does it? No, it doesn't contain nuts. It's suitable for vegans, too. Okay, great. In that case, could I get the tomato soup, please? And for your main course? Hmm, what would you recommend? The grilled salmon is excellent, sir. What does it come with? It's served with boiled potatoes and vegetables. Okay, that sounds fine. And I'd like a side salad with that. Anything to drink? Hmm, what do you think would go well with the salmon? I'd recommend white wine. Okay, I'll have a glass of white wine. Actually, no, just make that a Coke. And for your dessert? Do you have fruit salad? No, I'm afraid we're out of fruit salad. We have apple pie, ice cream, and cheesecake. Can I suggest the cheesecake? It's delicious. Hmm, I don't think I have room for that. Can I have vanilla ice cream, please? Of course. Would you like a coffee, sir? No, just the check, please. Certainly. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, again, all right? Again, the last time. Are you ready to order? Yes, but I'd just like to check something. I have a nut allergy. The tomato soup doesn't contain nuts, does it? No, it doesn't contain nuts. It's suitable for vegans, too. Okay, great. In that case, could I get the tomato soup, please? And for your main course? Hmm, what would you recommend? The grilled salmon is excellent, sir. What does it come with? It's served with boiled potatoes and vegetables. Okay, that sounds fine. And I'd like a side salad with that. Anything to drink? Hmm. What do you think would go well with the salmon? I'd recommend white wine. Okay, I'll have a glass of white wine. Actually, no, just make that a Coke. And for your dessert? Do you have fruit salad? No, I'm afraid we're out of fruit salad. We have apple pie, ice cream, and cheesecake. Can I suggest the cheesecake? It's delicious. Hmm, I don't think I have room for that. Can I have vanilla ice cream, please? Of course. Would you like a coffee, sir? No, just the check, please. Certainly. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Now, uh, ready? What did he order for the starter? Potato soup. Oh, tomato soup. Tom tomato soup. Okay. Potato or tomato soup? Tomato, tomato. tomato soup. Tomato. Tomato, okay. What about number two? Main course? Salmon. 
With a side salad. With a side salad, correct. What about for drink? A Coke. Coke. A Coke. What? That's why. Uh, well, no. Okay, uh, the girl suggested uh, white wine, but at the end, he decided for uh, the Coke. And number four is third. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, right? Um, did you hear that he says, I don't have room for that? Yes. Okay, what is the meaning of that expression? When you say, no, I don't have room for that. You don't have more space in stomach for more. Uh, oh, stomach? Um, in this case, um, yes, but no, at the same time. So when we say that, no, I don't have room for that, could be that I don't like to eat that. I mean, no se me apetece, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, let's just make a review on could and might, what we covered yesterday. Yeah. Emerson help us reading could, Nelly, might. And the examples, please, Tatiana. Use could to make a suggestion. You could talk to your managers about the funding products for the promotional events. You could general business in a community event. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Nelly? My AFN is a real one or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event on a holiday like last Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tatiana? He could, he could talk to customers about the new menu events. I, I might like to go to Metro Centro and eat at the new restaurant. Mm -hmm. They could ask for some water. I might and want a large pizza. We call it pasta. Okay, thank you, guys. First of all, pronunciation, okay? So we have this one, which is suggestions. Yeah, mm -hmm. suggests, yes, suggestions, yeah? Then we also have this one, which is event, event, yeah? Then we also have this one, which is politeness, politeness, okay? And we have this one, which is a schedule, schedule. Yeah. And we also have this one, which is item. Item. Yeah. Item is in Spanish, but in English, it's going to be item. Item. Okay. Well, the use of could and might. We use could for suggestions, and we use might when we want to add politeness. Yeah what we covered yesterday, as you can see right here. Yeah, he could talk to customers about the new menu item. I might like, yeah, pueda que, yeah. I might like to go to Metro Centro and eat at the new restaurant. They could ask for some water. I might want a large pizza and we could eat pasta. Okay, very good. All right, guys, let's move. Um, okay, now we are going to take the listening exam, okay? The one that is in the spreadsheet. Yeah, we are going to take that exam. Um, let me get it for you if you don't have it. Okay, the listening practice. This is the link and the passcode is going to be listening. Okay, let me know once you're in so I can share the, the audio, okay?
Okay, ready? Okay, let me know once you're ready so I can I can play the, the audio. Yeah, I'm ready, miss. Perfect, thank you. All right, guys, so I think that you all are ready, okay? So here we go. Hi, young lady, how may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Okay. Once again. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay. How about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm. How much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm. How about this brown leather one? Hmm. I don't think my father would like the design on the outside, and it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm. I don't have that much money. Okay. How much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm. How about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, I got and uh, see Emerson, Jonathan, George, Jose, Carla, Mauricio, Nelly, uh, Pablo, Juan Jose. Okay, mm, Tatiana. Very good. I can see that some of you got one hundred. Okay. All right. So now let's move, and we are going to take the simple present review quiz, okay? There you go. And the passcode is going to be grammar, okay? To see if you still remember about simple present, yeah? Let's take it. And once you are done, let me know because we are going to start with the speaking time. So I'm going to move you to another breakout room, okay? So let me know. Right now, take it. Take it and make sure to answer all of them. Ready, miss. Okay, perfect. Bye, right, guys. Let me see.
Okay, guys, so for the ones that already finished, I'm going to move you to a different breakout room and we are going to start with a speaking, okay? So go to the speaking time and you have different questions right there, okay? So let me see. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Miss. Yes. Eh, no, sabemos cuáles preguntas. Okay. First of all, you need to go to the class. Okay. And you will see the speaking time. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Le tomo captura. Okay, sí. Mm. Speak of time. Yes. Vamos a ver. Ya estamos listos. Speaking uh, time. Yeah. No. No, no, it's not that. No. Really no. Um, La I'll... última parte. Eh... That one is the, oh yeah, you have it, right? Yes. Yes. How important is money in your life? Because, because, um, because a buyer, the product necessary for life. Oh, yeah. The necessary products. Necessary products. Yes. Do you think about a lot? But I need a uh, work. I need to money. work. I need to work for money. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think. I think. Um. What ma? Como. Voy a formular la 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 oración. 
the sentence. Uh, um, okay. I think mm -hmm. uh, money, money. I think that tell us the money, money. How did you know? Yes. If they are in Africa, if they are in wherever, they speak English. Then the main purpose is is that they learn English to can participate in that meeting. Okay. And what about you? Mm, my main purpose for learning English is uh, bec is because I I think it's needed learning English for open other doors <laughs> in the jobs. New opportunities. <laughs> Yes, new opportunities. <laughs> um, when did you start learning English? Okay, I tried to start uh, 15 years ago, I think. And I went to uh, uh, some course, but I couldn't continue in that time. And I retake right now. Mm -hmm. I start uh, six months ago <laughs> with basic basic course. Okay, I started past. Okay, thank you. I started past. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you? When did you start learning English? I started six months. <laughs> Six but months ago. six months ago. ago, but in the past, when I was shy, <laughs> I I take I took to, uh, of English is most difficult to master. What aspect of English is most difficult to master? To master, I don't know what you mean. Um, to master is to uh, actually to be good at. Ser be good. bueno. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I think my difficult, or I think my difficult is when I try to say something, I have to think in Spanish first and after translate to say it in English. Mm -hmm. And I hope someday think in English to speak in English. <laughs> but I think that you do it. But it's hard because we have to think fast. Com completely in English, right? Yes, yes. But you are, you are going to master it, you will see. Um, I hope so. <laughs> okay, and you, um, Carla, Carla? Yes. 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 What aspect of your English is most difficult to master? I think I... I think I want to learn more vocabulary because it's many uh, pensamiento, thinking? <laughs> no, thoughts. Come? Thoughts. 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 Yes, thoughts. But I can't mm -hmm. order. 
my word or or the ideas <laughs> or for ex, uh, speak <laughs> oh okay. for speak uh -huh. it's more difficult okay. okay oh i think that it was the finish <laughs> no no <laughs> yeah Oh my God, I think that is my internet connection. Play guitar or bass in, in the church. Mm -hmm. And I always go out with my wife to spend some time alone. And that's, that is. In my case, I always uh, wash my clothes. <laughs> I that... For me, the conocer is a super irregular verb. For That's me, it's pronunciation. For me, it's the different times. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, but I have a practice, 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 practice. Yes. Next. Algo más? Yes. Okay. Mention something that Mention. you always do on the weekend. Yeah. Mention. Mention. Zoo and everything. Um, I spend time yeah. with my family. I, I, I rest <laughs> in my home. I do the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I do the laundry. Okay. Yes. Um, I watch series. I clean my room. <laughs> Sorry, I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the mention, mention something that you want to do better in the future. Mm -hmm. Something, okay. Something. Uh, yes. Mm, mention something. Something. In my case, is a. Uh, uh, can speak English. Okay. Uh, I uh, speak English and learn um, French. Okay. And learn French. Uh, and learning yeah. French. Learn. Learn. Ah, okay. Thank you. Um, for me, the same. I, 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 I want yeah. to languages, different languages. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to learn play um, piano and guitar. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Tercero, mention something that you're definitely going to eat in the next few day. Pupusas. Yes. I eat pupusas. Yes. Yes, maybe pupusas. <laughs> Tomorrow <laughs> or, or on Sunday? Uh -huh. Tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Today, uh, today I ate like that. Okay. All right. Today, he uh, eats pupusas. I ate? I ate pupusas. Eat pupusas. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. There is, I would say, um something really common, right, that we eat. 
most of the time pupusas yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and they are delicious right yeah and delicious delicious okay mm. next 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 yes um, mention something that you bought last month mm -hmm. i bought a a a, a, a mini jeep <laughs> from from my house really yes okay from the toilet yes <laughs> all right and for me mm -hmm. you bought a t-shirt okay and you tatiana i uh, what's the meaning both both comprar but in pasado que compro el mes pasado mm -hmm. i both um, a television. Okay. A TV. Perfect. A TV. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Next. Mention something that you're going to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I am going to. Um, what's my clothes? Okay. For me, I work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you are going to work tomorrow. I and you, Tatiana? To I want uh, to go to a restaurant. You want to go to uh, a restaurant. Okay. Uh, what do you want to eat? Pizza, hamburger? Uh, Chinese oh, hamburger. Okay. All right. And the last one. Yes. Yeah. Mention something that you usually do in the evenings. Mm -hmm. um, I usually study at, at, at in the, night, eve. in the yeah. evenings. Yes. Okay. I usually read the book read a book okay and for me uh, complete platform for english corporative okay all right yes okay we should we should complete all of the assignments yeah. right mm -hmm. okay let's go back to the main room okay let's go back let's go thank, thank you teacher thank you all right let's go back guys Okay, um, Wendy, can you please mention something that you bought last month? Not sure. I don't know. But know what? No. No. Okay, so nothing or... Nothing. Okay, nothing. nothing. Okay, all right. Uh, let me see. Um, Kenya, mention something that you are going to do tomorrow. Uh, I don't work on Saturdays, but tomorrow I have to work. I'm going to work with my boss because we have to finish a, a report. Okay, so you need to work tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now let's move and let's play a stop the bus, all right? Let's play a stop the bus. You know that stop the bus is like bachillerato stop. So the three categories that we have, verb, fruit, and object in your house, okay? Recuerde que el, el verbo, la fruta y el objeto tienen que comenzar con la letra que yo le voy a decir, all right? In English, of course, right? So... 
I'm going to give you the letter. I will give you one minute. Y quien las tenga dice stop the bus. Ok. Cuando ya lo tenga todo dice stop the bus. Ok. So the first letter is going to be letter, letter C. Letter C. Ok. Busque un verbo, una fruta y un objeto en la casa que comience con la letra C. In English. Ok. I have it. Okay. And let me see who said that. Uh, Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay. Very good. So in this case, Juan Jose, verb? Can. Can. Fruit? Coconut. Yes. An object in your house? Candies. 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 Yes. Okay. Perfect. Very good. So you get one point. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Next letter. Okay. With the letter, let me see, T, letter T. Friendly means. Okay, Emerson, verb. Talk. Talk, fruit. Chamarindo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, all right. Yes, okay. Object in your house? Television. Television, okay. Guys, give me, yes, you get that point. Emerson, but give me another fruit that starts with the letter T, guys. Another tomato. fruit. Tomato. Yeah, tomato is tomato. a fruit. Yeah, tomato is a fruit. Okay. Um, we also have, how do you say mandarina? Tangerine. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, mandarina as well. Okay. All right. Next one. With the letter... M. This is the last one, okay? Letter M. Make. Okay, make. But you need to have all of them. You need to have all of Ah, okay. Yes. Um. Fruits, eh, apple. No, tiene que no. comenzar con la, con la M. Ah, mm. manzana. Ver. But in English, okay? Ah. All right. Ah. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. <laughs> Verb, move. Move. Fruit, melon. Fruit, melon, yes. And the object mirror. Mirror. Perfect. Okay, Jonathan, Juan Jose, and Emerson. Uh, there is a tie, right? I mean, empate. Okay, we are going to play this game on Monday. All right. So, right now, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back on Monday. All right. Thank you very much for connecting today. The only person that please stay with me, let me see if George, are you here? Yes, it is. Yes. All right, please stay with me. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, okay? Thank you for connecting today, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
All right. Um, okay, George. So today we are going to have the feedback, all right? So basically, George, what I want to know is a little bit more about you, okay, about the learning process that you have had in the past, yeah? I would like to know your opinion about our English classes, even though we are just uh, in the first week, right? But you already have an idea on how our classes are going to be, right? So I would like to know what do you think about the dynamic? But first of all, tell me about... Um, how long have you been studying English for? When did you start? If this is the first time you are studying with us or did you study with us from the beginning, right? Well, basically I I start when, since in a college. Okay. But, but the, in the college, the English is basically yeah. then when when i was in the university i studied um many levels mm -hmm. six or or seven levels more mm -hmm. or less but um the last time i studied english uh, i don't remember in Twenty oh five, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, um. Fifteen years ago, mm -hmm. more or less. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Okay. So, is this the first time that you are studying with us in English corporativo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But I start in the uh, since the first level. And oh really? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. I start with the uh, basic. Okay. Yes, level I, number one. Yes. All right, George. Okay, so now um, let me ask you, what do you think about our classes, right? About this module, intermediate one. How do you feel with the dynamic of the class? And what do you think about uh, the class in general? Obviously, it's more difficult. Okay. <laughs> but... Uh, I like it. Okay. I talk uh, with the last group. I talk about uh, uh, the this uh, level, the this yeah. class, and I, I like because I, I I don't know. For me, it's more difficult listening in English. Okay. Um, obviously, I try to speak. I try to talk with other people, and mm -hmm. I'm missing. Uh, many vocabulary yes uh, for me it's more difficult listening yes yeah and you um uh, the old days in the old class you uh, learn and you teach the a uh, uh, little space for for this um for this section uh, they always win we le, we have a listening test in the old class is for me is very important and and help me uh, uh, a lot okay Perfect. i like uh, i like i like your class teacher Okay, thank you, George. Well, you know, um, um, I I do agree that probably this level is kind of difficult because the whole class is, as you can see, in English, right? There are just some spaces where I use probably Spanish because um, there are some students that I still have to actually be explained in Spanish because they don't get the whole idea, right? But um, you know. Being honest with you, this is the first time I do that. Like I speak Spanish a little bit because I mean, in Safor is really, but really demanding, right? And they say that we need to speak just in English. So in this case, um, maybe that's why you feel a little bit more difficult, 
right? And probably because of the topics, right? And maybe because of the dynamic. But as you said before, I think that that makes you feel um, probably that you are learning because you are out of your comfort zone, right? And I think that that is something really good when you are learning the language. Because as you mentioned before, the listening section is the one that you uh, feel that help you out, right? That that uh, you have probably some areas of opportunity um, on that section, on that skill, right? But what we do is that we try to, I would say, um, have grammar, listening, reading, speaking, right? Most of the skills. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Now, yes. Okay. So in this case, um, we try to um, use many activities for you to learn listening, right? Grammar, uh, speaking, and even reading, right? Because what we do is that we add um, the reading part whenever we have the explanation. That's why I say, hey, please help me read in this, right? Because, um, I mean, the class is for you for you to participate and improve. And, you know, I have seen that you participate a lot. And that's what I really like about you, George, that um, it's actually very noticeable that you are really motivated, right? That you really like the English language. So I think that that is really important whenever you are learning a new language, uh, your motivation, right? So in this case, I can tell you that do not lose that motivation, right? Do not lose it because in that way is the way that you are going to learn. So basically everything is good, right? With you, I think that you participate a lot, right? Um, you also, uh, whenever you have questions, you ask questions. So that is good, yeah? Okay. Um, then the other thing that I would like to ask you is about the platform. Do you have any inconvenience with the platform? Is everything okay with the platform? Only in the first exercise because uh, we can complete the sentences in this exercise, but uh, um, in the chat, I type in the chat and help me. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, but... Uh, be, uh, because I I I I can, uh, I can uh, make this exercise only the first the the other one no. Okay. Is, oh, yeah. But okay, but at the end, were you able to resolve it? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. I I I I think um five exercises right now. Yes, yes, that is correct. Okay, and the last question I have for you, um, what do you think about the breakout rooms? I mean, when you go to the breakout rooms, are your classmates participating? Do you feel comfortable with it? Um, do you have any type of observation? No, um, in, the, in the first weekend, uh, all of good. Okay. Yes, the, the partners uh, participate, talk, uh, no, it's so good. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Okay, so is there any doubt that you may have right now? Something, a question related to any type of topic? Something that you would like to ask me? No, teacher. Really, okay. it's so good, all of you. Perfect. Yes. All right, right, George. So in this case, that's pretty much what I needed to ask you. Okay, I'm really happy that you feel comfortable with the classes and that you are learning, okay? Because that's the most important part. So thank you very much. Do not hesitate to contact me. If you have any question, you can send a message to my, to my WhatsApp, all right? Okay. And I'm going to help you out. Well, okay. thank you. Thank you, all right? So I hope you have a great weekend, rest, and I'll see you back on Monday. Okay. See you. Okay. See you. Good Bye night. bye. Take care. Good night.